Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel again. In this video, we're diving into an unforgettable incident from 2012, the case of Quichla Rodriguez Ortiz. Felix Verdejo Sanchez, born on May 19, 1993, in San Juan, Puerto Rico, grew up in a big, humble family. As a child, he loved sports, initially dreaming of a baseball career. However, a chance encounter at the age of nine changed everything. He was seen as a bright star, a diamond in boxing. His country saw him as a promising athlete destined for gold medals and titles. His journey in sports was expected to soar to incredible heights. By 2021, Felix's name hit the global media again, but under different circumstances. It was a story of a youthful obsession turning into a dangerous addiction, leading to a tragic outcome. The boxer once celebrated, and even endorsed by two-time Olympic champion Vasil Lomachenko, faced a severe legal battle. Despite clear evidence and his accomplice's confession, Felix maintained he was innocent, yet he received a life sentence. This story is a tale of the unexpected twist in the life of a potential world boxing star. It is in the same Puerto Rican city of San Juan. Quichla Rodriguez was born in November 1993 to parents Keila Ortiz and Jose Antonio Rodriguez. They also had another daughter, Beryliz Rodriguez Ortiz. Quichla grew up to be a bright and friendly girl, doing well in school and showing a deep love for animals. The pivotal moment for the future boxing star, Felix, came during a childhood fight. After this incident, his father suggested he take up boxing if he wanted to fight. Felix's love for boxing started in a local gym, and his talent quickly became evident. By 16, he won the Pan American Junior Championships. The following year, he became the national champion of his country. Felix's journey led him to the 2012 London Olympics, where he reached the quarterfinals. His professional career was just as impressive. With 29 fights and 27 wins, Felix was a rising star. In 2014, he was celebrated for the best knockout against Sergio Villanueva. By 2015, he had secured the WBO Latino title and defended it six times over two years. He was on track to make a significant mark in world boxing. Kishla and her sister Berylis grew up with dreams of their own. Kishla, aspiring to be a veterinarian, shared a close bond with Berylis, confiding all her secrets and life worries. They both knew Felix from school, growing up together. Kishla and Felix, who have been friends since childhood, eventually developed a romantic relationship in their adolescence. In 2011, following Kishla's parents' divorce, she moved to Florida to live with relatives while her sisters stayed in San Juan. Despite their separate lives, the sisters remained in close contact, sharing every detail of their lives. While Kishla navigated her new life, Felix's fame as a boxer grew at 18. He attracted a lot of attention from girls, including Ellis Mary Santiago Sierra, a 14-year-old schoolgirl who was also an aspiring model with whom he started a relationship. Despite his commitment to Elis, Felix continued to see Kishla. Berylis and her mother, Kila Ortiz Rodriguez, were aware of this affair and disapproved. Despite his serious relationship with Elis and a secret affair with Kishla, Felix, surrounded by fame, did not shy away from other romantic entanglements with other women. Soon, Elisa and Felix got engaged, but on the other side was Kishla, aware that her lover was engaged yet, unable to let go. Felix was her first true love. Deep down, she still hoped to be his one and only someday. In 2016, Felix married the young Elisa when she was just about 19. By then, Elisa had gained fame as a model, amassing thousands of followers online. She had also launched her beauty studio, specializing in eyelash extensions. However, just months after their wedding, Felix suffered a severe motorcycle accident, 
hospitalized with serious injuries. His future in boxing seemed uncertain. His trainer, Ricky Marquez, was worried. But against all odds, Felix swiftly recovered and was back in the boxing ring before long. In September 2019, Felix shared a photo on social media with Elisa, who was visibly pregnant. His caption was full of anticipation for meeting his daddy's princess. A month later, he joyfully announced the birth of their daughter, Miranda Verdejo Santiago. Publicly, Felix appeared as a devoted husband, a loving father, and a model family man. However, he secretly continued his meetings with Kishla, unable to sever their connection. This hidden affair contrasted starkly with his public image, revealing the complexities and contradictions in his personal life. Eliza suspected her husband Felix of infidelity, and although he tearfully promised to end his affairs, she remained doubtful. Kishla, who has been deeply in love with Felix since high school, struggles to break free from their tumultuous relationship and continues to see him in secret. Felix's threats keep her from pursuing other relationships. Despite her personal turmoil, Kishla focused on her career in animal care. She worked at a veterinary medicine and aesthetic center where colleagues admired her dedication and responsibility. Her love for animals was evident with her two dogs and a cat. In 2020, Elisa discovered Felix's ongoing affairs, including his relationship with Kishla. Outraged, she confronted Felix and threatened to divorce him and take their daughter away. Her ultimatum, combined with a downturn in his boxing career, led Felix to temporarily end his affair with Kishla. However, he couldn't stay away for long, resuming secret visits after a few months. In April 2021, Kishla found out she was pregnant after conducting a pregnancy test at home. She first confided in her sister, who knew of her complex relationship with Felix. Kishla, 27 and ready for motherhood, decided to raise the child alone, if necessary after she told, and he reacted angrily, insisting on an abortion to protect his reputation. Kishla firmly refused despite Felix's threats and persistence. After an official visit to the hospital confirmed her pregnancy, Kishla informed Felix, who became even more furious, and not believing her, he demanded to see the medical result. He arranged to meet Kishla in a public place, a typical choice to avoid drawing attention to their secret relationship. This meeting, scheduled a few days later, came after Felix visited an old friend, Luis Antonio Ctidiz Martinez, a local machine shop worker with ties to the criminal underworld, who was Felix's choice for a sinister task. Felix explained the situation to Antonio. He needed help getting rid of his pregnant mistress. Despite Antonio's fear of prison, Felix's persistence and promise of a substantial cash reward convinced him. On April 29, Felix arranged to meet Kishla to discuss her pregnancy. After the call, Kishla told her sister everything, still naively hoping Felix would accept the child. Verilis, aware of Felix's threats, feared for her sister's safety and shared her concerns with their mother. Despite their fears, they couldn't dissuade Kishla from meeting Felix. At the appointed time, Kishla arrived in her Kayafu while Felix drove his SUV with Antonio hidden in the back. Kishla showed Felix the test results, but he again demanded an abortion. Their argument escalated, ending with Felix knocking Kishla unconscious. He then injected her with a hefty dose of illegal substances provided by Antonio. The men tied Kishla up to a concrete block and covered her with a tarp. Driving to the San Jose Lagoon Bridge, they threw her, still a live body, into the water. To ensure she had no chance of survival, they fired several shots into the water. When Kishla didn't show up for work the next day, her co-workers became worried. Unable to reach her, they contacted Berylis. Finding Kishla's house empty, except for hungry pets, Berylis panicked, realizing something terrible had happened. She informed her mother and reported her suspicions to the police. Meanwhile, 
The news of Kishla's disappearance spread on social media, quickly gaining media attention. The fact that she was in a relationship with a famous athlete and pregnant heightened the people's interest. While the investigation continued, her mother flew from Florida to San Juan, fearing the worst, but hoping Kishla was still alive. The search for information continued, but initial inquiries provided no leads. The case's publicity grew as reporters began to link Kishla's disappearance with Felix. Reporters eagerly sought interviews with Rodriguez's family, who openly shared their suspicions, pointing fingers at Felix. On April 30, Kishla's car was found abandoned in the city's east side, with her belongings inside, but no signs of anything suspicious. This discovery sparked a glimmer of hope for finding Kishla alive. The next day, a passerby on a bridge over the lagoon spotted a human-like shape in the shallow water. The police were alerted and soon recovered the body of a young woman, presumed to be Kishla. The Rodriguez family, holding on to hope until the last moment, had to face the grim reality when they identified her by a distinctive tattoo on her arm. The news of Kishla's gruesome death shook the whole city, resulting in angry people rallying and demanding justice for Kishla. Felix was detained for questioning, but denied any involvement, claiming he was home with his family the night Kishla disappeared. Without enough evidence, he was released. However, Felix's wife, during her interrogation, revealed she knew of his affair, but was unaware of Kishla's pregnancy. Contradicting Felix's alibi, she couldn't confirm his whereabouts on the night of the murder. Traffic surveillance footage showed Felix's truck and Kishla's car driving to the bridge, but Kishla wasn't driving her car. The police seized Felix's truck for examination, finding Kishla's hair in it. Lewis, Felix's accomplice, surrendered to the police, offering to reveal the truth in exchange for a lighter sentence. Felix was also taken into custody, but remained uncooperative and continued to deny his involvement. A firearm, officially registered to Felix, was found and matched the one used at the crime scene. Phone records placed Felix, Louis, and Kishla at the crime scene on the night of her murder. Kishla's funeral took place on May 8, and it became a national event, calling for justice and highlighting the issue of gender violence. Her coffin was brought to the cemetery in a white carriage, a poignant symbol of the tragedy. Many Puerto Rican celebrities, including stars from show business, athletes, and politicians, spoke out about the incident. Felix was charged with killing Kishla, including the murder of an unborn child. Initially, Kishla's family requested life imprisonment for Felix, wanting him to endure a lifetime of captivity. The trial, delayed by the COVID-19 pandemic, was eventually held virtually. It was established that the crime was committed with particular cruelty. Louis admits his role in obtaining the drugs and materials used to dispose of Kishla's body. However, Felix maintained that he was innocent despite all the evidence against him. As the trial progressed, Elisa, who was also a key witness, filed for divorce soon after his arrest. She chose to focus on her business and raising their young daughter. There were rumors of Elisa remarrying, and in an interview, she revealed receiving anonymous threats against her and her daughter, Miranda. Some speculated that Felix's spouse might have orchestrated the crime, but no evidence supported this claim. Felix Verdejo was found guilty of kidnapping leading to death and causing the death of an unborn child on November 3, 2021. Jose Antonio Rodriguez, Kishla's father, wanted Verdejo to reflect on his actions for the rest of his life. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and stories.